What happened to Frank? He said he was hungry after the ninth and he was headed back to the clubhouse to grab a bite. Mm -hmm. Next thing I know, dude spins out and rolls the cart over like two times. Should have packed a hole in one bar instead. The CDC releasing a disturbing report finding the U.S. suffered one of its worst rates of maternal mortality during the COVID pandemic. The U.S. rate for 2021 was 32.9 deaths per 100,000 births. That was up 40 percent from 2019. Black Americans were hit especially hard. Let's bring in Dr. Frida Fisher, who is a certified pediatrics and nephrology and internal medicine. So, Dr. Frida, first of all, if you could tell us what is considered maternal mortality and why are black women at greater risk? Hi, Arthel. So, according to the World Health Organization, maternal mortality is defined as death during pregnancy or within 42 days of the pregnancy ending. And the death has to be associated with the pregnancy or with the management. And so it's not by some freak accident or being hit by a car while pregnant. It's directly related to pregnancy. We know that it's on the rise in 2020 and 2021 in general related to COVID, okay? With the rise in COVID, we saw a lot of increase in general in maternal mortality. But Black women are almost three times as likely to die in childbirth when compared to white women. And that's just in the United States in general. In places like New York, they're eight times as likely to die. It's because of health disparities. It's because of lack of access. It's also because of implicit bias, Arfell. Many Black women, even women with no socioeconomic uh, problems, even women who are highly educated, studies show that they're often not listened to. Their symptoms aren't taken seriously. And so we end up having the high maternal mortality. Is there protection for Black women? Well, there's no specific protection. Even when you are educated and you try to advocate for yourself, and I'm speaking from firsthand experience, and I can tell you countless of my colleagues of physicians who have experienced the same thing, there just seems to be a disparity and a systemic or implicit bias that for whatever reason, even in some celebrities you'll hear, that keeps them from being heard. And so right now, we're just trying to use our voices and get the information out. You know, even ladies who have high, higher rates of obesity, which tend to be Black women, higher rates of heart disease, asthma, clearly these things will put you at risk. But the fact that the general maternal mortality in the United States is 33 per 100,000, but for Black women, it's 69.9 deaths per 100,000. That lets you know that it's not just a coincidence. There's certainly a link and something needs to be done. Well, I do want to uh, ex expand on that and taking a look now at death rates by race. Nearly 70 percent of Black women, as you just said, died for every 100,000 live births. And that's compared to 28 deaths among Hispanic women and around 26 deaths among white women. Uh, what should you do if you are a Black woman who is currently pregnant? If you are a Black woman who's currently pregnant, you need to first make sure that you're getting your prenatal care. Find out your rights, find out your coverage. Not everyone has health care expansion, but really be vocal and ring the alarm to make sure you're getting health care starting in the first trimester and certainly by the second trimester. If you feel like you're not being heard, keep talking. Take someone with you. There was an issue during COVID because spouses and partners were not allowed, you know, to be there to advocate. But make sure that you recognize that if you have a symptom, don't allow a physician or a nurse to downplay your symptom. You know your body. Speak up. And also just make sure that you have your blood pressure under control, that you're at as healthy a weight as possible, that you ask about your heart, because heart disease is actually more common than we realize in pregnant women and can be a cause of death. In short, speak up for yourself, okay. understand your worth. Yes, one, and I have really short, can you report the doctor to the hospital administrator? Absolutely. And now is the best time since so much awareness is being brought to maternal mortality in the United States. Dr. Frida Fisher, thank you very much. It's a very important story. Thank you for enlightening us.